reasoning um, you know, is some, but it's also the fact of safety. You know, safety for our kids. I mean, you can see the pictures that she put up there. Anything can happen where these school buses are parked. I get that. <laughs> but we need one designated area where it's going to be safe off of the city streets. Um, and if Mr. Amos is having an issue with the parking situation, or if it does come down to not being able to afford everything that he is having to deal with, maybe it's time to get out of the bus business and do something else with his life. Um, there's a lot of opportunities out there in Perry County, Tell City, where he can find something else to, to do. Council, do you have any questions for Ms. Simpson? All right, thank you. Any other comments before we move on? Okay, so Council, you've had the first and second reading of ordinance number 1193, both in their entirety with no changes to it. Um, is there a motion to suspend the rules for a third reading by title only? So moved. Motion made by Philip, there's a second. Second by Julie. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No, she carried. This is the third reading of ordinance number 1193 by title only. An ordinance amending ordinance number 808 regarding the parking of certain vehicles within the city of Tell City, Indiana. So, Council, you've had the first, second, third reading of ordinance number 1193. Um, it is the time now, if you'd like to take action on this, to make a motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Motion made by Philip Bureau. Second. Second by Julie. Any further discussion? Okay. It said in here, this ordinance shall be effective after its passage by the Common Council of Mayor. Um, pretty much immediately once it's once it's advertised. Correct. I probably won't be able to get it in the paper. I probably won't be able to email it till Monday. Yeah, yeah. No, it'd, it'd be, be, it'd be Monday's Perry County, next come Monday's edition. Um, you think? Yeah, no, I'll be try. close. Yeah. yeah, I'll try. If not, it'll be next Thursday's paper. Right, not this coming. Yeah. How many days after it's published does it become law? Uh, I think it's effective immediately after it's published. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, Council. If, um, if a motion made by Philip, a second by Julie, we're at the discussion point. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Ordinance stands approved. All right. Next item on the agenda is trash rate discussion. So Connie and I sat down with um, Janet and the uh, utility office. Oh. I'm not saying we understand it all, but we're trying to figure it out. I'm not going to lie. Um, you should have a copy. Of, do you guys have a copy of this? Yes. Okay. Well, everybody was looking at me kind of strange. I'm like, did we miss something? Okay. Yeah. So this kind of gives you an idea of what we what we have. Um, there, there's some options there. If you we have a commercial just a regular customer rate we're, what we're not looking at is the tags so the tag price is a dollar will stay at the dollar at that proposed you guys do what you want if you guys want to raise it you raise it it's the council it's your decision we looked at taking the regular current fee which is six dollars and 25 cents that's added to each utility bill per month and proposed raising that by one dollar to seven dollars and 25 percent per month or per per billing if you look at that, you can kind of see the different, how much different revenue that will generate. Um, and then, then you look at seven, that don't seem right. What's that 725, Connie? What did it do? And then it went to 775. Oh, seven, I'm sorry, I'm blind. I'm sorry. 775, I guess either, I can't read one. And you'll see all the way, I do, that's tomorrow. <laughs> you'll see that 
what that increase, how much different more revenue that will can generate. And then you'll see at $8. So you've got three options there for your consideration. We can't take any action tonight on this because it has to be put into a form of an ordinance, I believe. Right, Connie? Uh, it has to be advertised in the paper and then an ordinance will come before them at a public, we'll have a public hearing yeah. in December at our meeting and then they can also adopt the ordinance at that meeting after the public hearing at the December meeting. Didn't we already take a $30,000 loan? Yes, we did. And we have to pay that back. And we need to pay that back. So, and so far, I haven't had enough revenue. To, I'm just going from month to month, the payroll to payroll, to, and I'm holding some bills out that I can put off not paying. And like reimbursing the city for all the gas that the trash department uses. I'm not, I haven't reimbursed that for a couple of months now. And this isn't just because, you know, hey, we want to make some more money in that department just raise the bills. This is trying to cover the bills, not just get rich off it here. How much more income probably do we need to make it solvent? Well, that's very hard to say because everything varies in... Approximately, I mean, but... You know, when I'm looking at it, I, I'm looking at the, the one that would be the 775 that would bring in an additional 50, a little over 57000 for the year. Okay. You know, I, I feel that would, over the years, you know, will get us hopefully where we would need to be. So to the customer, that'd be a dollar and fifty cents monthly increase. Is that the way I'm saying that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm just totally opposed to raising the fee because people pay that whether they use the trash service or not. I think. Better off increasing the tag costs. It would raise number one. It would raise more money for us. Could. We talked about that, and we can try to get those numbers. I don't remember what they were off the top of it, and I apologize. Yeah. I think if we doubled the trash ticket from the dollar to the two hundred and fifty dollars, I think it would raise another one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, yeah, I was just looking at <coughs> our tag collection uh, in 2021, I'm showing 182,000 was collected in tag collections. In 2021. And so far in 2020, as of October, only 144,000 had been collected this year. So I think it looks to me like that, that number is going to be down. down. Uh, because, because then, then if you, you go, go back in 2019, 2019 it was 163000 So it, 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 it probably, probably just varies. It's going to generate significantly more than any of these rates you proposed here. Plus, there's another thing to compare. You're fine. Uh, number one, it serves, if we, this provides no incentive to tell city residents to recycle. None. If they have a trash tag that they have to pay for, that provides an incentive to recycle more and you'll have less trash you'll use if you trash tags. Okay? So it provides an incentive. And it makes people pay for the trash service that's using it. Um, there's another thought just left somewhere. Um, I'll get to you in just a second, Ken. I, I, okay. I know what it was. Remember, folks, when you're looking at these figures, we used $120,000 of ARP funds to buy the new sanitation truck. Okay? So the deficit is more than $30,000. It's $150,000. You're right. We'll have to buy another trash truck eventually. Uh, you're, I'm not arguing with you. Know, right? I'm just trying to keep the cost down. This is, I mean, I know you are too. And you, you want, everybody wants to see the cost as low as we can make it, and and that's where I was just trying to. But it's up to. I, I don't have a dog in this fight. You guys can figure it out. Yeah, that's, that's ours. I could. That's true. Well, another alternative we haven't mentioned is doing both. Oh, I like that. Raising raising the uh, this rate up to by a dollar. And increasing the, let's say, the tags uh, to dollar fifty. What is the solid waste, Gary? Is it a dollar fifty? Is what the counties are? 
for those tags? I think it is. Or 50. Can it, do you know, is it $1.50 for county trash tags? I know we don't sell. That's for the orange tags, right? Orange. I couldn't remember because those were increased back in 2020, I remember. But they have nothing to do with the city. They don't get curbside service. That's correct. They, oh, no, you're right. I'm just trying to get an idea of cost. You know, comparable. Yeah, they have to take it to the solid waste place up there in Canton to dispose of. Yeah. Well, Council, what do you want Connie and I and Janet to do? You, you tell us. Um, We were just trying to find a, a lower cost overall to help residents. That's kind of it, I think. Is that fair to say? You know, but Janet, I'll let you, if you come up here and speak, please. You got to come up here and speak because they can't, we won't be able to hear you. And everybody's at home watching. They're going to, who's that lady in the back talking? And no one's going to know. You're the utility manager. You, you're the one who does the numbers all day over there. So thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, every month I have the two trash drivers bring to, to me untagged trash that they have to pick up. Before COVID, they even had to go through those bags and give me evidence. We run hundreds of dollars every month of untagged trash because people are not wanting to put their tags on. Um, if we increase this, we're going to have more trash that is thrown out. Even they're going to go through the alleys and just dump. They're not going to. They're not going to increase. They're not going to pay that. If we have it on our water bill, even if they pay part of it, water is paid first. Trash is paid second. And wastewater is paid third. These guys out there have to take extra care on all their untagged trash. And especially in the summer, we're getting seven and eight hundred dollars of untagged trash at least. Um, if we increase this worth of untagged trash that we have to build on. During the summer, it's a lot more. I, I send them, I put it on their water bill, their additional fees. Right. That's during, that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're going to have more of that if we increase it. And an untagged. Yeah, the, county, the county, they increase theirs, but. Uh, again, they don't sell hardly any um, from what Ken told me before. So, so an untagged here. trash, is, 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 it, is it $5? Is that correct? It is. So it if is you set a bag out and it is not tagged, it, they normally, depends, but they typically put a note on it, and if it's there the next week, they'll pick it up, and then they'll actually chart, bill you $5. Unless it's in the summer, and they won't let it. They yeah. don't do that. Let's think of this through just a moment. So let's say it's seven hundred dollars a month. That's in the summer usually. Okay. When well, let's, let's, you don't have to pick your okay. for the whole year. So seven hundred dollars a month, that's eighty four hundred dollars a year. Out of one hundred and fifty thousand, sixty thousand? Last year it was one hundred and eighty two. One hundred and eighty two thousand? Yes. saying if you increase it there will be a lot more of that because people aren't wanting to pay a dollar fifty or a dollar and a quarter or two dollars so that might go up to twenty thousand which costs them time I guess to go through it and provide evidence so you know who to charge thank you Janet council um, what direction do you want to me to let Jeff Haggerton to Advertise or Connie and act to advertise something. What direction do you all want to go? We can make some changes to it, but we need some type of a direction. Do you want to focus on the actual monthly 
fee or do you want to focus on the tag part? I guess that's the question. Or do you want to focus on both? Do you want to raise the tag a small amount and raise the, ba the base fee? You can do that too. I think we look at raising the tag fees. We also need to look at raising the fee that we call uh, charge for untagged tra untag trash. I mean, you know. The if only we're, if we're going to raise the tag fee, if we think that's going to cause an issue, then we need to try to cover that too. Raise both. Okay. The only issue, and I don't know if Janet and Pat, and, and I get the calls every now and then, you know, if somebody, if you set a bag out, John, I'm just going to use the example because you kind of brought it up. Um, you set a bag out there and you don't tag it, and then Pat picks it up, and then um, they, Janet sends you the $5, and you call and say, well, that wasn't my bag. Somebody else set that there. You, and they, like, they're basically dumping your trash at somebody else's property, they're saying, and I don't know if they're telling the truth or not. I wasn't there. I didn't go through their trash and, you know, find their name on it and stuff. You know, it's a mess. I'm not going to lie. It's, it, it's a little bit of an honor system there somewhat. And sometimes people tell the truth and sometimes people don't. You know. Have you ever looked at privatizing the trash? Um, it's been looked at. I don't know how in depth it was looked at at one point uh, a few years ago. I don't think it got very far. Um, it would take me a long, I say a long time, it would take me a while with what we got going on to get to that point, to look into it. Some council members would like to come up with a little task force to look into that. We, we could. That won't fix the issue right for today, but it, it is something that if the council wants to form a little committee or whatever, to you know, reach out. about that, uh, those folks are not doing it as a nonprofit. It might cost waste, residents waste more. Management, uh, they're, they're, they're going to make, they want to make X percentage of money over their cost. We, we're just trying to make the thing pay for itself, right? You know, pay the cost. So from a standpoint of our citizens, we should be, they would be better off if we can continue to service as long as they're willing to pay for it, knowing if we go to a private carrier, it's going to cost them more money. The, the, the tags, I, they're kind of a love-hate thing for most people. They, they are a pain to go get, put on, and may not stick on. They may blow off. You don't put on right, whatever. Don't have any of them. I get that, but it's kind of like you pay by what you use kind of thing. I'd hate to charge a flat fee that's $20, $15 to an elderly family or a single person that only puts maybe one bag out a week or two bags out a month. And they're paying more when someone else does it. That's the give and take of the whole tag thing. I, I see both sides of it. I, I do. It, <laughs> A tote to put your trash in to haul it down to the road would be so much easier, but for someone who puts one bag out a week, maybe it's not, not the most cost effective for them either. So you, you got a lot to consider. You got a lot. So what do you want to do, Council? Do you want to, what part do you want us to focus on? I don't want to drag this out all night. Okay. Um, we have a motion made by Larry. Is there a second? I'll second that. Second by John. Any further discussion? And this doesn't officially adopt it. It's just so everybody understands what this means. This has got to be advertised and go, in, and you've got to actually take an actual ordinance and a public hearing on it before this happens in December. So just keep that in mind. Don't think it's going to be $2 tomorrow morning and all that. So clarity. Um, motion made, second. Any other discussion? Well, I was all for that. She had a talk. I felt like I would be inclined for the people that deal with it more to go in that direction if she feels like it makes more sense for her department, for their department, to, you know, make a great change. I would be more inclined to do that, I guess. Okay. Um, we still got a motion made and seconded, so any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 
Opposed? Aye. Aye. Or nay. Gary, would you vote? Well, that ties it. That doesn't help me, Gary. <laughs> if it ties, like, I think it dies, actually, if it ties in that way. Or do I break the tie? Oh, jeez, I think I do. I would say nay at this point. So, there. I, nay. So, there, I broke the tie, if I have to. Larry's not getting you a Christmas present. No, no, I'm not on his card list this year. I won't be getting a ham or anything. That's okay. Um, so, we, we, we got a, do we, Julie, do you want to make a motion, then? To increase, or, or Gary, or Julie, or whoever. Okay. So we have a motion made to raise it to 775. This is the base fee, not the tax, right? The, right? The base, yeah, okay. All right. Is there a second? I'll second that. Second by Philip. Any further discussion? And the tag price would be only, it still would be a dollar? Yes. Okay. Motion made second. We finish that discussion. Hearing no more, so we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. So that carried. All right. Gary, what'd you vote? I abstained. You abstained. So it's, it was three to... One to Four, one. yeah, three to one to one. All right, so Connie and I will work on getting something together for your consideration for our December 5th meeting, I think, today. All right, old business is done. New business, Tell City Electric. <laughs> Y'all want to stay, why is everybody leaving? <laughs> all right. Under, under new business. business, thank you all for attending tonight. That if you have to leave, I understand. We appreciate it. So, under, under new business, Tell City Electric Department 2023 uh, budget. Yes. It it does. Yep. Okay. I'm going to drive this for you faster than I can, so. I'm going to drive this faster than you can. I'll pay $30 for someone to come pick up my trash. I love it because I don't have a tag, but that's just me. Yeah. you got like five kids or something, don't you? Yeah, no. we produce more trash than uh, I think the landfill. <laughs> <laughs> so, Council, what we're discussing, this is under new business. This is your Chelsea Electric Department 2023 budget. I have an ordinance here I can read before you. Um, do you want me to go ahead and read the ordinance, or do you want to ask Andy some questions? I know he'd offered the opportunity for any of you to meet with him to discuss any questions or concerns. I don't know if any of you did. If you did, that's great. If not, that's okay, too. Um, any questions? 1195. And if you want me to go ahead and read it, I'll entertain a motion to have me read ordinance 1195 for its first reading. Motion made by Larry to hear second. Ooh, who got that? John or Julie? Yes, John. John got it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Ordinance number 1195 of the Common Council of the City of Tell City, Indiana, to accept and adopt the budget of the Tell City Electric Department for the fiscal period of 2023. Resolve municipal utilities are required by the State of Indiana, pursuant to Indiana Code 81.534, Section 4A6, to submit a budget to the municipal legislative body. Whereas the Board of Directors of the Tulsa Electric Department by resolution number R221018A has adopted a budget. Whereas the resolution of the Board of Directors of the Tulsa Electric Department was presented to the Honorable Mayor and the Common Council for first reading November 7th, 2022. Whereas the Board of Directors of the Tulsa Electric Department respectfully request that the budget be accepted and adopted as presented. Now, therefore, be it resolved. Uh, that the budget as presented by the Tulsa Electric Department is hereby accepted and adopted. Be it further resolved, a copy of the budget is be placed on file in the office of the clerk treasurer of the City of Tell City and the office of the Tell City Electric Department. A resolution of the Common Council of the City of Tell City in regular session, November 7, 22, approved by his honor, the mayor, at the time and date recorded below. Attested Connie Berger, signed Chris Kale, Mayor. Council, we've had the first reading of Ordinance 1195. We're to a motion to suspend the rules for second and third reading by title only. So moved. Motion made by John Deere, second. Second, second it by Gary. Any further discussion? I'll just, I'll just make one comment before we vote. Um, and I appreciate it because this budget reflects the amount of money that the city has spent on the 
million dollars going into the, I think what's called the Eckhart Road substation. The new substation's been built. Uh, yes, to the yeah, yeah. Uh, Which is being accomplished by Del Mar on That is correct, yes, sir. Appreciate that. Yep. And, and, and Larry, I just want to um, talk about that. Right now, we got around $6.3 million in those reserves combined. Um, once we submit this on the substation, this time next year, in December, I would project that that'll be around $2.9 million left. So um, we will still have reserves there, um, and that'll be our goal going forward to replenish those reserves. But that's what they're for. Great. Thank you. Where's Eckerd? Down on 4th Street, 5th okay. Street, between that area. Okay. 5th and Tail will be the corner of the new <laughs> My dad helped build it. He helped get it, get it down to the day. He helped build it, I think, back then. <laughs> All right, so motion made, seconded, discussion for a second thirty by title only. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Second reading, Ordinance 1185 of the Common Council of the City of Tulsa, Indiana, to accept and adopt the budget of the Tulsa Electric Department for the fiscal period 2023. Third reading, Ordinance 1195 of the Common Council of the City of Tulsa, Indiana, to adopt, excuse me, to accept and adopt the budget of the Tulsa City Electric Department fiscal period 2023. Council, you've had uh, first, second, third reading of Ordinance 1195. There's no other questions or any intent of motion to approve. Motion made by Larry here, second. Second. Seconded by Philip. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Budget stands adopted. Thank you both. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Andy, was it worth it? Hey, I, I, I did, got yours taken care of pretty quick. Paige is probably, probably going to beat me, but yeah. <laughs> you guys did a good job putting your budget together. Well, I, and you do every year. We appreciate it. Yeah. To, to give credit, that lady right there, she, she put this budget together for the baby and came back and put the final touches on it at the end, so couldn't do it without her. That's great. All right. Thank Moving you. on under new business, item B, transfer request. Connie, I'm going to let you talk a little bit. Okay. I'm going to read through the resolution here on the transfer once I get it ready. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them. Resolution 2022 25 a resolution by the Tail City Government Council that make necessary transfers between my classifications within the several budgets. Within the general fund budget, I will transfer from computer support to second deputy clerk treasurer pay and the clerk treasurer's budget of $1,635. Economic Development Commission fund transferring from EDC marketing to EDC land development $720, and that's within the EDC budget. Transfer of cash for the city match on community crossings grant. That will be coming from the MBH fund and will be transferring from the MBH street and alley maintenance line item to the local road and bridge matching grant fund in the amount of $55,371.87. It's adopted the seventh day of November 2022. Uh, council members would sign and then the mayor and I would sign. Okay, Council Resolution 2022-25, uh, they only require one reading, so if there are no questions, I entertain a motion to approve. That is the one that we just passed in the with the ceiling of the streets and I should have had this transfer to you all while back and it slipped through the cracks and I didn't get it to you. So it's just to get our share moved into the fund. They have not um, at our AIM conference last week, um, Kathy with uh, NDOT made a comment that they will make that announcement December the 6th. So about another month. It's the 6th. That's what she told me. She's like the boss lady. She's not the commissioner, but she's up there pretty high. So do they email that out? No, they'll post it on their website on that day, and Janice and I be re hitting refresh about 500 times. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So resolutions, like I said, only one reading. So is there, is there a motion to approve? 
Motion. We'll make that motion. Motion made by Gary, seconded by John. Any further discussion? Any none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Okay, additional appropriation. Yes, I'm going to make you do that. I'll resist one also, and then if you have any questions, we'll take it. Additional appropriation resolution 2022-23. Whereas it has been determined that it's now necessary to appropriate additional funds beyond those that were appropriated in the annual budget, now there are section one. We are being ordained by the city of Hill City, Perry County, Indiana, that for the expenses of the taxing units, the following additional sums of money are hereby appropriated out of the funds named and for the purposes specified, subject to laws governing the same. City General Fund, Board of Public Works, Gasoline and Oil requesting 50000 CDL Training requesting 9100 Repair of Buildings, 30000 for a total of $89,100. Out of the pool budget, operating supplies, $8,000. Repair of building equipment and pool, $8,000. JFK pool, city share, $50,000. For a total of $66,000. Cemetery, cemetery additional labor, $5,000. Mower, $7,000. For a total of $12,000. For a total of $167,100 for the general fund. Riverboat fund at City Hall improvements, $1,250. And that's the total. ARP coronavirus, ARP funding, uh, Joe Schaefer Park requested $150,000. Camera assistance Park, $35,000. Sports Complex, 500000 for a total of 685000 Human Capital Development, uh, JFK Pool, City Share, 50000 for a total of 50000 Adopted the seventh day of November 2022, and council members would sign, and uh, the mayor and I would also be signing that. I will let you know that on the ARP funding request, that those you have, have given a vote have given a motion of intent at a meeting prior to this that those would be approved at tonight's meeting. Okay. Council, do you have any questions regarding these uh, notice to taxpayers additional appropriations? <laughs> That's kind of like our. That's, that's our savings. savings. Yeah. yeah. It's not a rainy day. It's just not a rainy day. No, it's a general fund that's not been appropriated. Checking account that's sitting there. Yeah. That's pretty good. How does a rainy day, how do we. I don't recall being on the council for almost three years now. Has it ever approved? Correct. We have not. Okay. How do we do that? Where do those funds come from? So those funds come from the general fund, and it's 10 or 15 percent of our budget that can be moved to the rainy day fund. And I have to get, you know, I don't have. Either I would check the state, state board of accounts or get with Jeff to have him check. I'm not, I'm not, I think there would have to be an ordinance written up in that as to what, what we could move. How much in that fund now? Uh, 200 and some thousand. Oh, really? In our, in our rainy day. I'd be, a, I'd, I'd be in support of that. I, 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 I can make, make a note and I will check, check on that. that. <clears throat> and regarding these items, again, I'm sticking with the general fund for the moment. The lawnmower for the cemetery? Yes. Do they have existing funds in their budget to cover that? No, no they do not. So this is an additional, this is an additional appropriation. appropriation. 
and then that's, that's the same with the additional salary to them. They do not have anywhere within their budget to transfer. All the above. Me? All, All the above. Well, in, in essence, it would it could be. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna vote against it. That's, that's fine. fine. Larry, in, in response to the more there, I'm on that cemetery committee and have been on there a number of years. I think what uh, Alice tried to do there is is take a more that's got the greatest amount of use and trade that more in on a new more before it totally quits. Uh, we all mow grass and so forth, and we know that if, if you're mowing on a nice level piece of ground, that more is getting good lubrication. If you drive to our cemetery out there, much of that mowing we're doing is up and down hills, and that is the most difficult on any kind of mower. And again, we get good kohler and whatever, the good mowers with good, uh, but the lubrication, I think, is always a problem up and down, because at points, certain times, that mower may not be getting good lubrication. So the mowers out there do take a pretty good beating, even though uh, Al has went to synthetic oil, in them, which again reduces the heat buildup in the motor, and he's doing everything he can to use them. But again, uh, rather than just mow, keep using them until they quit, then we might have to buy two or three mowers rather than one. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Uh, if there's not, I intend a motion to approve. Motion made by Julie. Here, a second. I'll second. Second. Yeah. So motion made by Julie. Who was seconding it? Was it Philip or so I motion? Could barely be Jerry. All right. Motion by Julie, second by Philip. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay. Thank you. Motion carries. All right. Next item on the agenda under new business is item D. It's blight resolution. Okay. Uh, Connie, what would that resolution number be? I should be able to get that off. Is it 26? Is it 24? Okay, because the last one was 25 we just did. That's why I was asking. So it's 24. Okay, that's fine. So this is resolution 2022-24. What this is, this is for the former Perry County Memorial Hospital location. As part of us applying for this grant, we have to declare that area as a blight property. Okay? So that's basically all this is doing. I don't know if you all have the copy. I've got the whole legal description, and if you want me to read it, I can. It's rather lengthy, but I can go into it. But, you know, okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start here. Blight Spot Declary, uh, uh, Resolution, Tell City Nader Resolution 2022-24. Whereas the City of Tell City desires to eliminate blight sites and structures within the city limits, excuse me, the limits of the Tell City, Indiana. 
and whereas identifying such as a site is necessary for effective action to eliminate lighting conditions. Whereas the site has experienced a cessation and of commercial, a cessation, session, I'll get it out eventually, of commercial use since 2015. And whereas the widespread deterioration of the site, commonly known as the former Perry County, former site of the Perry County Hospital, has been identified, making the site, the site structurally unsafe. Be it resolved by the Tell City, excuse me, by the City Council of Tell City that the following property located in Perry County hereby be designated as blighted property as defined in Indian Code 36-7-14. And you'll see the entire legal description there. And if you want me to read it, I'd be more than happy to. Passed and adopted by the uh, City Council of Tell City this blank day of 2022. So, resolutions only require one reading. Council, do you have any questions? I do, Mayor. I know we're doing this because we have some grant applications. Yep. What are the legal implications for the city if we adopt this and we do not receive the grant? Yes. Jeff had reviewed it and didn't make any of those comments back, so I'm assuming he would. He's the one who sent a legal description, so it has been reviewed by him in his office. So I would, I would go to say that it, we wouldn't have any ramifications. You could always go back and pass a resolution declaring it not. I mean, but I think we all know that it, it is an unsafe and blighted property, and so. <laughs> Any other questions, Council? Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion made by Philip. Here, a second. I'll second that. Second it by Gary. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Is this also, for some reason, the way it was prepared that has required the Council's signature? Next, we have Brandon, who's been patiently waiting. The uh, pickleball resurface, this, is, um, this went before the ARP committee, and it was given a favorable recommendation of, I think, four to one, but it was, no, three to one, was given, that's for you, recommendation to do this. So, Brandon, I'll let you kind of explain the pickleball, the cost, and the surface, sum it up the best you can. <laughs> well, essentially, the, the concrete pad is poured now. We're waiting on the post to come in. And other than that, it's playable. Uh, the lines aren't painted. We can either paint lines on the bare concrete, or we could apply a coating on it, an acrylic coating similar to what's on the tennis court, uh, which is what every other place that builds pickleball courts does. Uh, I did look up, it did come up in the ARP meeting about just painting lines on it. Uh, so I looked up several Google images of other parks and I tried to find one that was just concrete with the lines painted on it. And, uh, and I couldn't find one. So what I'm looking to do is have tennis technologies come in sometime in the spring because the weather has to be above 50 degrees for seven days straight uh, for it to cure right. But we want to put the acrylic coating on the pickleball boards. That would include the whole surface, the out of bounds area, the, the kitchen, as well as the playing surface, and the lining. Uh, we looked at doing a cushion option. I had uh, some of our local pickleballers went up to Washington, Indiana, where they have a cushion surface, which is nothing more than a couple extra layers of paint with real small rubber particles in it. And they said for the time duration that they plan today, it wouldn't be real beneficial. It would only help if they played, say, a tournament it was held down there and they were playing several hours of the day. They might notice the, uh, the benefit. But they also noticed that some bubbling occurred where the, when they had pickleball or the uh, cushion surface on those pickleball courts. Uh, and the cost was about two and a half times more to do the cushion surface. So 
the non cushion, cushion surface total is $10,430. Uh, the cushion surface was over 25000 So just to give you an idea. Does that 10000 include the lines as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you shop around in there? Yeah, yeah, and that's the cheapest buy over $3,000. So this is above what we already yeah, yeah, I, I earlier, is that right? Yeah. yeah. I, I tried to do it all at once, but we were uh, not not just here, but it was trying to find comparative quotes and getting what we really wanted in the end. We didn't know if we wanted cushion, we didn't know if it was that much of a benefit. So it was more so doing all that to make sure we were asking for what we really wanted. <laughs> okay, Council. So this was the the recommendation from the ARP committee again it was a favorable recommendation three to one on that to uh, proceed with this so is there an inter I'll entertain a motion to proceed with that at the council so chooses to then so what is the amount again 10,400 you said 10,430 yeah so that's an addition to the 26,000 or whatever uh, I think it's more than 26 but yes it's an addition to whatever it's been I don't it might be in your minute somewhere. It's, it's more than 26, because just the concrete loan was over 30. Oh, I guess the 26 was. We approved it two different times. I think it was 20 the first time and 26 the second time. So this is the for 46,000. So this gets us to how much? 60. 56,000. Yeah, 56,000. Okay, Council, is there a motion to approve? So I'll make it. Oh, so John? It would, I'll have to bring this as an additional appropriation again, so it needs to be a motion of intent that they will approve it whenever I. That's what John tried to say. He just didn't get it out in time. John cut you. Every time. you cut I, I yeah, Gary and John cut I'm you sorry, off. He, he John. had it. I'm tired. I have yeah. So what if, if you do the acrylic painting, if you didn't do that, what's the, it just would not last as long. The lines that you paint on it, the concrete would not do as well over time without that coating on it. I think a lot of it's looks, but it's also safety. And it also helps the concrete last longer. Concrete be slick when it's wet, you know. I mean. yeah. This does have sand, so much sand per yard. It's at, uh, they put a mesh sand at a rate of 15 pounds per gallon, and it takes 0.08 gallons per square yard. So there's quite a bit of texture in, in the yeah. surface. Okay, so we had a motion made by John. Was that a second out of you while I go, Gary? It was. It was All right, second. second out of Gary. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. All right. That is all of the business on I believe. By the way, pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. That's why Gary's going to go out and play that as soon as he gets going, aren't you and Julie? No, I pulled a hamstring and it took seven years to get over it. You retired early on it, didn't you? All right. There better be some people down No, there will be. It's, it is really done a lot. It's a good sport. It will. It'll be So I know we've got variety to get out of here, and I'm going to wrap this up fairly quick. So under the mayor's report, we do have a couple things. Uh, Connie and I did attend the AIM conference uh, last week for three days. We, we learned quite a bit, actually. Um, a lot of really good networking. Had some really good networking with some companies that can do playground equipment that could help us out at uh, Joe Schaefer Park. So it was very beneficial, uh, I thought. Uh, I think Connie got a lot out of it too. Being, you know, somewhat new to the clerk treasures, it's able it gives her the opportunity to meet other clerk treasures. So it's a big networking. It it is. Um, tomorrow is election day. Um, City Hall will be closed and city employees are off tomorrow. So make sure you, if you have not voted early, please, please get out and vote. You know, it's not about which party at this point. It's about getting out and voting. And so please get out and do that tomorrow. Veterans Day uh, is this Friday at noon here in City Park. We have kind of a little small concert, if you, if you will. 
come down. It's at noon, and I know there's some people at work. Some don't, but for having it at noon, there will be hamburgers and hot dogs, I think. It's going to be sold by the Boy Scouts. Janet Damon's helping with that a lot. We've got, that's Marty Bryant. Marty Brown. There you go, that guy. I, I get it wrong every time. I'm sorry. Uh, he'll be here performing, so it'll be, it'll be really nice. So if you get a chance, come down. He'll be here between noon and 1. Uh, make sure you make plans for that. This, uh, on the 10th, which is this Thursday at 4.30, Julia talked just briefly about the Beautification Committee. We have the Brick by Brick Committee, which is our Main Street group. Both those committees are kind of lacking volunteers, and that's one reason we had to cancel the chili cook-off. We just don't have enough people volunteering. People want stuff, people want things, but we need people to step up and help put these things on. So we're going to have a meeting at 4.30 here in this room for anybody interested in wanting to serve on those committees. We may merge them together into one and kind of restructure it a little bit to make it more effective. So that's all going to be discussed this uh, Thursday at, at 4.30. And so that's all I have. Does anybody else have anything else? Yes, well, I did in the Board of Works, but I can also, yeah, I'll bring it up. Uh, I don't know if any of you are aware, but the Assistant Chief of Police did uh, resign and, as his position, but is still uh, with the force, the police force. So I don't know if you all knew that yet or not, but he has resigned that role, but is still working in the, will be working in the police department. So, yeah. Mayor, I ask everybody if we could change our time for our meetings again from five the board of public works from five to five thirty mm -hmm. council and water board from six to six thirty and i don't think anybody had any big problem with that so it, can we start doing that at our next meetings the so the board of works and the and the water board also be six thirty right yes sir okay it's, it's not set by ordinance so they'll have to no it's not set by ordinance so you're good on that does it make it better for you and Philip? I don't know what your work schedule is like when you get off. And it, it does help me too. I mean, it, it, pushing it back would help me. I mean, okay. It's <laughs> all right. We've, we've moved it before. We have. So, so starting at our next meeting, uh, the board of works will be at five thirty, and we'll make sure we put several posts out on our social media page and in the newspaper to let them know. So, and also the department heads. If not, they'll just be early. As long as we don't have meetings like this. It has started our next, it has started our November Board of Works meeting, the next one coming up in two weeks. Okay. Thank you, John. It's unfortunate, but I mean, yeah. I don't think so, but yeah. It's Ours has been the first Saturday for 15 years. But yeah, I appreciate it. Good. The other question I have is I was going to the large trash disposal. The disposal was Yes. That was over on one of our meetings. Yes. 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 It was for the the heavy trash drop off, not pickup, but you just drop it off down there. The truckload was twelve dollars. Yeah. That was just to cover the overall cost. I will probably go in the hole on that, unfortunately. It, it's unfortunate. All right. Anything else? All right. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made by Julie to hear second. Second. Second by Philip. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned.